so I'm Mr. Riles, I'm one of the maths teachers at Holyrood and I'm talking to you today about the A-level in maths that we do at Holyrood. Now just to be really clear, A-level maths we need to get at least to grade 6 but there are other options. Okay, If you are um, just looking for something to support you in some of the other subjects then A-level core maths or AS core maths could be something really useful where there's a separate video that's going to be all about AS core maths which you need to get at least a grade four to study. Um, there's also another video about A-level further maths. Now that is in addition to A-level maths, so it would have to be two of your options, but if you're really interested in lots of maths and you want to go to a maths-based degree, then A-level maths and further maths can help you to do that. Now with A-level maths, um, and one of the great things that you'll get is a lot more time spent on different topics. So you'll get to see about things like um, trigonometry, where it comes from, where it leads to, um, and you'll learn about something completely new called calculus, which is something that a lot of engineering, physics, um, proofs and formulae have all their basis in calculus. So it's something you won't have seen at all, but there's a big portion of it spent on that. Now, it's a challenging A level, but that means it's enjoyable, it means you can really focus on it, um, it's also all exams. So there's no coursework to worry about, it's all examined at the end of the course. Um, we've got a really dedicated team to teaching A-level maths. You've got myself, um, you've got Miss Laws, you've also got Mrs. Bouvier, and we've got someone from Max Valley, who some of you might know, uh, called Miss Claire, who she comes just to teach. Some of you for GCSE will be taken out of um, for an hour or so now and again to just focus on those really tricky topics, but her main purpose is to come in and teach A-level maths and a more further maths because she's got the experience of examining as well as teaching. Now, um, just to be um, really clear again, you need to make sure you've got your, your six for the A level maths. Um, we've got um, some of the, the benefits of the course. It's going to prepare you for um, doing um, any maths based course at university, but it's also going to come into lots of other courses. Anything from ocean yachting, uh, psychology, um, and I've got statistics in them, and some of the other things it will cover. Um, there's also another thing that you won't come across at all called mechanics. Now mechanics is something that is applied to physics, engineering, and you won't have seen it in maths at all, but we get to dedicate a big portion of the course to it. Um, but basically we've got lots of different topics, but you'll get a lot more time to spend on them at A-level maths. You've also, you've also got teachers who have got degrees in maths, or very science-based degrees that they can let you know about some of the other areas which maths can lead. Um, so hopefully it's something you're interested in. Any other questions you've got, please come and see us um, and we'll be happy to take you through it.